ESC TV. I'm Liam Davenport and we have with us today Professor Jean-Jacques Blanc from Brest in France. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Um, today we're talking about the Biopace trial. I believe there's been some very interesting results that have come out of that. Could you give us a, a sort of summary? Uh, yes. For, first of all, a, a quick uh, background about the, the rationale of this, of this trial. Um, for, uh, I would say, more than 50 years, AV block is treated by RV pacing, right ventricular pacing. And uh, I would say that it works. But um, around 10 years ago, it has been shown in um, many different trials that this RV pacing could have some deleterious effects, and particularly on the left ventricular function. RV pacing induces a dyssynchrony on the left ventricular function, and therefore it uh, induces a, a decrease in left ventricular function, left ventricular ejection fraction over time, and uh, this can transfer into some clinical uh, uh, disease. Uh, so the rationale of the trial was to say that if we pace not the right ventricle but the left or the two ventricles by the pacing, the so-called by the pacing, we could avoid this deleterious effect or right ventricle pacing. So we started this trial in 2003, that's 10 years ago round, and uh, we have included, over a four-year period, uh, 1,810 patients. This is a multi-center trial, and 94 centers uh, in 15 different countries. And these uh, patients were randomly assigned to RV pacing, 900 patients, or by V pacing, 900 patients patient and they were followed. The primary endpoint is a combined endpoint of death, time to death or time to first hospitalization for heart failure. And so the mean follow-up duration was long, very long for such a trial in fact because it was a, a bit less than six years. The main result is that there is no statistical difference between the two groups, but but the hazard ratio is 0.87 uh, between 0.75 and 101, and the p-value is then 0.08, so close, mm -hmm. but not at 0.05. Well, that's very interesting. So what's What's the implications for the physician who's sort of looking at the results and thinking, what do I do now? Well, that's a, that's a difficult answer, I would say. An easy question, but a difficult answer. Um, if we stay at a scientist, I would say that uh, the p-value is not rich, the p-value of 0.05, so we continue as we are. RV pacing is... Uh, more, much more easy to implant and, uh, and cheaper, so we continue to implant RV pacing. But I must say that as a physician, it's difficult to ignore completely this result because there is a clear and important trend in favor of by V pacing. So, and this this is in accordance with other trial, much more limited, very limited trial, but they are also in favor of by V. So as a physician, we have to take into account these results. And uh, I would say that uh, presently in patients that we think, we anticipate, they will be paced uh, all the time, or, or mostly all, all, all the time. And in whom the duration of pacing is long, say for example, more than five or six years, I think that in those patients, by the pacing should be considered to be a good option. Well, that's really fascinating. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you.